my whole life people have said you'd be great in real estate. I looked at it and probably hopped into it for the wrong reasons. Just what I mentioned before. I was like, yeah, you know, you can get a you know, nice suit and nice car and there's potential to make an uncapped income without any tertiary education. And I was not going back to studying. Like life experience, observing are my lessons. Like I'm not a read a book type guy. I'm not a let a professor talk to me type guy. So came back, had an interview, was determined to be at a certain office because eventually I wanted to be selling the big houses. So I think the lesson is that, sorry, is always have a plan, even from the beginning. People think, oh, I'll start and get a foot in here, which yeah, is acceptable, but you need to have a plan long-term of where you're going because every day if your actions map towards your ambitions, you're going to land, if not where you want to be, within range of where you want to be over time because that shit will compound. So started up as an assistant. I just ate shit for years. Like – getting coffees, open for inspection packs. Um, I was a glorified telemarketer. Like my day comprised of a tiny room, yellow pages about this thick, a phone, and I'm just dialing for dollars. I'm just sitting there, but I'm hungry and I want it. And I know in time if I do, you know, these sorts of behaviors and I stay focused, tunnel vision, I'm going to get there. Would you say you were enjoying doing the uh, cold calling and that type of thing? Loved it. You, you loved, loved doing it. it. I see, that's really interesting. Loved like, because it. It, sometimes you have to do the things you don't enjoy to get what you want. But you obviously just found something that you, you loved every aspect of real estate. Here's the thing. I'm really not good at much. I'm really not good at much. I was good at cold calling. You know, I was good. Every aspect of real <laughs> estate I found, I was good at. So I was like, shit. Naturally, I mean, as, as human beings, I think we like and enjoy, or me anyway, the things we're good at doing. And um, it was just, and I know this may sound cliche, but it was just, it was just something that I truly wholeheartedly believe I was born to do, period. When you find the thing that you feel that you can be the best at, yeah, that's when you really like, you, you almost become yourself. Yeah, correct. You know, it gives you a 100%. path to be who you want to be in your head. For me, it's always been about like, you know, being better today than yesterday and being better next month than this month, making sure that this year we're doing better than last year. It doesn't have to be 50% or 80%. Just, just so long as there's progress on it. 